Take one. Hi, my name is Tony, and I have built a sequencer for my final project, and this is not good. Try again. Take two. Action. My name is Tony, and I'm a junior at WSU, and currently I'm in a class uh, EE577 audio and video design, and I have built a, a very simple um, audio and video sequencer. And I will show you a little demonstration. Well, first of all, this is my project. And this is what will be looked like if I have start the full project. But first of all, before we go ahead to the main project, first you have to make sure that all the video clips and WAV file audio has to be in the same directory as your project. And then you have, you have to set them all to 1, 2, 3, name them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, whatever amount you want to play. And off to the main project. Well, I found my mouse first. Uh, yes, here we go. This is what the prod, uh, PD patch looks like. And I right here in this grid, this is where the user can select many different videos. As you can see, when I click it, it will change to different types of different kinds of video. So whenever the button is landed on, it will place the corresponding video that is being selected. And the user, if you could, if the user doesn't want to just click each one one by one, I have a I have a yellow button right here. It's a generated random yellow button. So you could hit and uh, generate random 